Seeds are like tiny plant travellers and they need to get away from their parent plant to find a place to grow. This is called seed dispersal. Different plants have come up with clever ways to do this. Some plants, like dandelions or thistles, make seeds that are light and can be carried by the wind. If you've ever blown on a dandelion puffball and watched the seeds float away, you've seen wind dispersal in action. Other plants use water to move their seeds. Coconuts, for instance, can float in the ocean and land on a beach far away from the parent tree. When it finds a nice spot, it can start to grow into a new coconut tree. Animals also help with seed dispersal. Some plants produce tasty fruits around their seeds, like apples or berries. When an animal eats the fruit, the seeds pass through the animal's body and are dropped off somewhere else. This is how an apple seed can end up far from the apple tree. Then there are plants like burdock that have seeds that can stick onto an animal's fur or a person's clothes. These hitchhiking seeds get carried off and then fall off somewhere else ready to grow into new plants. So whether it's by wind, water, animal helpers or hitching a ride, seeds find ways to travel far and wide, starting new plant life wherever they land. Don't forget to subscribe!